today I have the pleasure of having David Lyon here, the manager of our local ATB branch here in Vulcan. And David's going to talk to us today about an exciting new program uh, that's just recently come out. It's called the First Home Savings Account. And David, uh, could you explain that to us a little bit here today? Hey, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me, Lyle. Um, so the first home savings account is a new program uh, that the federal government uh, released here j just this year uh, and it's now widely available. It's available at ATB and uh, a lot of other financial institutions and it's a really, a really a great product um, and something that every first time home buyer should seriously look into. Um, and the big benefit of it is, is what you can do is you can contribute money that's tax deferred. So you can contribute up to $8,000 each year that's tax deferred, similar to like if you're contributing to your RSP. Um, and then what's really great is you can save that money uh, for up to 15 years. And when you do go buy your first home, you can withdraw that money from your first home savings, savings uh, account. And when you withdraw it, there's no tax burden. Uh, you withdraw that money essentially tax free. So it's a way for a first time home buyer or a potential first time home buyer uh, to really work in a very tax efficient way uh, to help them save money faster and save more money for, for the down payment on their first home. Wow. That's, that's interesting. It sounds like something we should have thought of a long time ago. <laughs> Maybe. So, and you said up to eight, $8,000 per, per year. That's a calendar year. Yep. And um, the, the really nice thing about that is so, uh, so you get from the day you sign up, you start accumulating contribution room. So if you were to sign up today, today is uh, December 1st, um, you and you, before the end of this year, you get $8,000 of contribution room for 2023. And then come 2024, you'll have another $8,000 of contribution room available. And you don't necessarily have to put $8,000 in, but by opening your, your first home savings account in 2023, you, you accumulate that contribution room. Um, so this would be something that if somebody is saving for their first home, uh, they should contact ATB or, or their bank and, uh, and make an appointment and then get that account open uh, as soon as possible. Wow. Wow. So, okay, $8,000 a year, and then is, is there a maximum that you can contribute? Yeah, great question. Yeah, there is a lifetime maximum. Um, so you can hold a tax or a first home savings account, pardon me. Um, you can hold one for up to 15 years or until you turn 71. Um, and your lifetime maximum for the first home savings account is $40,000. Oh, okay, okay. Um, now, that's strictly just for the people actually purchasing a property or could could I do that for my kids or grandkids or how, how does that work? Oh, great question. I mean, you can certainly recommend that your kids or grandkids, uh, you know, come and set up a first home savings account. Um, but you, it has to be the person who is a first time home buyer who holds the account. Um, so for example, you could, can't open one for your kids. Okay. Um, to hold a first home savings account, uh, you have to be a first time home buyer, which means you haven't owned a home uh, in the past four years um, and you're not living with like your spouse or somebody who, who does own a home. Okay. Um, and you have to be 18 years of age in Alberta um, and uh, you have to be a, a tax resident of Canada. Um, and if you meet those criteria, then, then you can open a first home savings account. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And you said it can stay open for 15 years or until you're 71. Um, so uh, what happens if I can, I can still make a deposit this year, but next year is a little bit, uh, money is a little tighter. Um, do I have to put in each year or, or, or can that carry over or how does that work? Yeah, great question. Um, you have uh, up to the 15 years to contribute. So you don't have to contribute each year. Um, but in saying that, you only can carry forward your contribution room one year. Um, so if you say don't put anything in for three or four years, um, then you don't get to bank all of that contribution room and suddenly you can put in $40,000 in one shot, right? Um, okay. you, you can only put in, um, you know, one year behind. So the maximum you could really contribute in one year, even if you haven't for a number of years, uh, is 16000 Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Well, I think that's going to help out a lot of, a lot of people. Um, I guess what, what's the difference between a, The free home savings account and a, a TFSA or an RSP. 
I guess there's some similarities in that, but this is just specifically for, for a home, I guess, eh? Absolutely, yeah. It's funny. It's like uh, they combine some of the best features of a tax-free savings account and some of the best features of an RSP and put them together um, and made it specific for first home people who are looking to purchase a first home and made this first home savings account. Um, so you you contribute money into it almost like an RSP, and then but then you can withdraw money out like a tax-free savings account, right? Um, so it's it's really quite a quite a great feature, great uh, product. Wow. So I guess if anyone's got any more questions, uh, like you said, they can go to their local bank or better yet, come see, come see you at our, our Vulcan ATB branch and uh, get more information, maybe get, get the ball rolling. And like you said, if they're thinking about it, even if they're not purchasing for a year or two, but you've got the money to contribute, it'd be best to get it, get it started even before the end of this year, right? Absolutely. You know, even if you don't have the money to contribute, even if uh, even if you're just thinking about buying a new home, um, it would be really it'd be worth coming in and having a chat. Um, and it might be beneficial to you to open that account just to get that contribution room for, for a future year. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you very much, David. I appreciate, I appreciate this. I think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get lots of good value out of this talk today. Um, thank you once again for coming in. And our local ATV branch, where is it located? Uh, it's actually located just kitty corner from uh, Magnuson Realty office here on Main Street in Vulcan. Awesome, okay. Well, thank you so much and uh, appreciate you coming in and uh, we, we appreciate your advice. Thank you, Lev. Have a great day.